Today's video I have both Thunder Meow and Guapi, who are in the footage and use as examples for teaching how to IGL. Be sure to sub to both our YouTube channels. Now most of this is common sense. I feel like that's going to be the general consensus of what somebody may comment. But the baseline of a good IGL is making decisions based on the foundation of knowledge obtained. One could point out overall that IGL is just common sense. This is because IGL is a true keeper of the team from making poor decisions or ensuring that everyone takes the same path for the best results based on the information given. They are the designated driver. I mean, honestly, how many times have you seen a pro team pull back their most aggressive player from making what otherwise would logically be a bad push? I'm going to try to keep this video shorter to be concise with info, so let's see if I succeed. Let's break down topics for today. Defining an IGL, confidence you need to have, how does one practice being an IGL, IGL with randoms, what are the right calls, what info should you be looking for, and lastly, who should be an IGL? Now, let us define first what is an IGL. This is a person who is your in-game lead. You follow their callouts based on a set of circumstances provided to you, right or wrong. Team follows the actions of the leader as they have been designated by default or by the group prior. Now, let us discuss confidence, because confidence is key. I'm going to let Guapi provide his thoughts on what makes a good IGL. I think my, the thing I like the most is a good IGL is someone who I can tell has confidence in their team, because it's very easy for sometimes I'll play with people and I can tell they don't have confidence. Let's say their teammates may be whiffing a few shots during a fight and then they they, they get vocal about it like, oh, GG's or whatnot, uh. as if the fight's already over. That's such a, a confidence-destroying thing. Like it's, it's pointless to say because the amount of times it will happen and someone will just lock it in last second is a... Uh, incredibly useful what we're being like, we're pushed now this can be more life advice but if a person appears to be confident then they will generally be more followed for better or for worse think high school unfortunately politics leaders in the community and much more if you appear to know what you're talking about others can be convinced that it is a correct path this goes to my next point i'm going to use sunder meow as an example we did a coaching session last sunday and while he's a top tier apex legends predator needs time to practice being an igl we all do Guapi and I helped by listening to his comms in a positive environment. Whatever he did, we didn't question him and we supported him. I truly believe Thunder Meow makes better callouts than I do, but I clearly have years ahead of him based on confidence. Thunder Meow's decisions are based on strong fundamentals and he knows what is correct. It will just need to be reinforced with time to obtain that confidence. That leads me to my next point. How does one practice being an IGL? Making lots and lots of mistakes. I actually think it's easier to learn being an IGL and making bad calls because you can see based on your decision of what went right and what went wrong. Bruce Lee once said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Hone in on your craft and work on being an IGL. As a legendary football coach Vince Lombardi once said, leaders aren't born, they are made. Now let us discuss an IGL in random matches. One can also co-IGL, meaning they'll make suggestions or even make callouts if they see that their leader is being hesitant. Actually, it is very hard to IGL randoms because some individuals may join the team with the intention to not listen. So what do you do? You make calls anyways and you be vocal. Be positive and be a leader by leading by example. If you are negative as a leader, your followers, colleagues will respond negatively. If you're not confident, well, it's going to showcase. And if you're quiet, well, then you're not making any comms and there's no hope to be an IGL. What's the worst that can happen? They don't listen, you're back to the lobby? Take it from somebody who was rejected dozens of times at auditions for a role. Worst case, you get a no and you move on. The right project or work will come its way. Don't get angry, don't get upset. Be happy you found out what worked and what didn't, and now you have the information to move forward. Not stuck wondering on what if. So let's discuss what are the right calls. Well, this one's easy. The correct call is one you make together, play as a team and die as a team. When you lose as a team, you learn what does not work. What info should you be looking for as an IGL? Remember how I said common sense will help you? It's actually what makes an IGL so difficult. We all lack common sense when time is of the essence and people panic. You and your teammates should be looking for information on who is knocked or cracked, is high ground obtainable, are there teams nearby, where is the zone, how many are knocked if you're going to third party, is the team healthy, does the team have resources, and what utility do you have at your disposal? These questions need to be answered quickly and it's important. And if you can't answer them, then a rotation or to get out needs to be made. Time is passing is also important. What was once good can turn into a bad fight quickly. Be confident in your team, like Guapi said, and reinforce positive work. So who should IGL? 
Well, it's understandable not everyone wants to IGL. You gotta be firm in your decision and a lot can rest on your shoulders. No matter what, a leader will emerge. Even if there are three randoms who are not IGL material, somebody's always gonna speak up or follow somebody else because they appear to think that they know what they're doing. We all have it in ourselves to be leaders and it's okay if you don't want to IGL all the time. But if you know what a leader needs to succeed, like we mentioned before, it helps make their job a lot easier. And if you're passing those reins to them, especially. Just remember, don't get mad if they make a bad call. No one is intentionally trying to lose on Apex Legends. I mean, if they are, then that's just kind of odd. Practice makes perfect. Go on and try. Make mistakes and you'll become a better IGL over time. This leads to the next step, which is Vaughn reviewing. Look at your decision and your comms and the information you are relaying over. Remember, worst case, you go back to the lobby and you try again. If you lead positively and put your best foot forward, this is all that one can really ask for.